There's six steps to character creation in DeGenesis. And maybe those are the notes I should have had in front of me. The first thing you do with your... There. The first thing you do, and uh, we're going to open up the book. I, I was debating whether I should flop back and forth between the PDF or not, but I'm not going to. Because it would be a lot of flopping. I don't want to flop. Uh, this, the first thing you do is you pick your culture, your concept, which we didn't really talk a lot about concepts. I think we touched on them last week. Yeah. In the well, game mechanics we, up, but we touched on them a little bit at the end of each cult. Yes. At the end of each cult. It, it, but we didn't uh, discuss it. it they were examples. Concepts. Yeah. It, it, it gave examples of, of, of characters and their concept within the cult, but we didn't really uh, explain it. All right, Crafty, sounds good. Thank you very much again, sir. Always appreciate you being here and uh, your support of us. And uh, hopefully you can listen from work. So what we're going to do is we're not going to fill in this section here. I should actually move this over to the other screen. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking sideways all the time. And apparently that makes people cry. Uh, so we're going to fill this stuff in when uh, basically when we're done. And we're not doing expert mode because we're starting with a basic character. So if you remember from Heathen Dog's culture episode, we have a bunch of cultures. We have Borka. Franca, Colin. Actually, that one, that one was yours. Was that one mine? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. You, you, did, did, you did the cults. You did I did the cults. Cult. Right. Hyperspania, I think it's Pugari. I'm not sure, and Africa. So I'm going to let you guys pick. Let's see what chat has to say. Which, which cult, and you, by the way, Aaron and Heathen Dog, you both get a vote in this as well. Uh, which, uh, which culture would you like to see? Mm. And what it seems like uh, pops up the most, please don't spam chat, but uh, that's what we'll go with. Hmm. Well, when I when I did my cults thing, Hyperspania was the bad guy in at least two of the histories of the cults. So I don't want to do them. Uh, Polsky. I'm going to choose Borka. OK, so we have one for Borka. Some we got one for Africa and we got one for Russian, which would be uh, Holland. That'd be the closest. Actually, Russia, they don't really talk about Russia. So, Noro picks a girl. That's not a culture! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Noro's my wife. Uh, so we got... Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, so uh, we'll go with the two that actually exist. We have Africa and Borka. You know what? I've made a few Borkins, so I'm actually going to go with chat on this one, and let's go with Africa. Okay. I haven't done that yet. So, what happens? Now, by picking your culture, yes, culture, by picking your culture, you get these attribute bonuses. Now, let me be very clear about these attribute bonuses. They do not add anything. They only increase your potential maximum. So, I now have a potential maximum intellect of, I probably should have said this before. Let's backtrack a little. See, this is what happens when I'm not scripted. <laughs> You normally can, you have one in every attribute. If I scroll down here, you're going to see it a little differently. Oh, because I have to continue. Never mind. Um, you're going to see one in every attribute already, one red block. And then you're going to see two more empty blocks and then a bunch of faded out blocks. For skills, you're going to see zero in the blocks and then two empty blocks and then the rest are faded out. Empty blocks means you haven't put points into it. Faded out means you can't put points into it. And red means there's a point into it. Well, all the attributes start at one, right? Well, you can mac add a maximum of two more. So from between one and three. So I could have, uh, the, this says intellect body, so we'll go an agility of one, two, or three. Well, now I can have an intellect of one, two, three, or four, because you can add one to the potential maximum. You'll see that in a moment. Same with these skills. All right. So let's hit our continue here. And you can see the little Africa thing there. And let's look. Oh, look. Body allows one more. Agility is still a three. Charisma is still a three. But intellect and body are fours. That's what the bonus means. We still have not spent our points. And we have to look at our skills. So next is our concept. So what is the concept? Actually, I'll be honest with you. I don't like doing concept before cult. But uh, what's chat saying? Oh no, biggest of field day with you, how you afraid? I don't care. <laughs> they can, if that's the only thing they've got to complain about with me, eh, I win. Um, so, I know a lot of you probably haven't seen the original videos or don't know much about DeGenesis, so I, I'm not going to wait too, much, uh, too long for chat, but do we have a character concept in mind? 
Well, let's see. We have the Freaky Anubians. We have the Rich Neolibians. Uh, we have the uh, Crazy oh, the Scourgers. And then some of the other ones uh, that uh, proliferate over that we can find out about in just a moment. In fact, I can tell you what the book says. The book says for Africa, you have the Anubians, the Apocalyptics, forgot about them, Clanners, Neolibians, Scourgers, and Scrappers. Well, th those are all of those are uh, cults, not concepts. Right, right, right. Right. Like I said, and you're absolutely right on that. But like I said, I like to personally, I like to pick my cult before the concept. Well, can because, can you do it with this software? Yeah, what I'm scared of is going back. Try it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, it's not like we picked a lot of stuff. We just picked Africa, so. Yep. Nope, I got I got to start over. Okay. So Africa then cult. So of those cults, we have the Anubians, which are the freaky priest people who have been around forever. They're the Illuminati of Africa. That's the way I call them. Uh, we have the Apocalyptics, who are um, <laughs> what? Las Vegas. How would you? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, if if anyone has seen or read uh, Stephen King's The Stand, they're the they're the people of Las Vegas. You know, they're the they're the uh, um, uh, it, what you you get what you can take. You you have what you can keep, and uh, it's all about today. Yesterday doesn't matter because it's gone, and tomorrow doesn't exist. So why care about it? It's a it's a it's a mindset. Well, it looks like chat is even saying go with apocalyptics. We have uh, heretic, but that's basically apocalyptic. So um, I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? We can do it. Okay. So wanna, now by pick, yeah, by picking the apocalyptics. The skill we get more skill bonuses. Now I notice no attribute bonuses, just skill bonuses to mm -hmm. athletics, dexterity, seduction, arts, and cunning. These two are actually pretty important when you talk about the manipulation of people, which is what they're they're good at. Like her, if you can see her little outfit there, her very little outfit there. <laughs> yeah, I like the art in the book. You know what? So if we start looking at these skills, look at this. Dexterity is something that can now have three boxes. I'm not going to do this every time, but, uh, oh yeah, we have the primal willpower that are crossed out that can change in a little bit. Uh, where's charisma, 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 charisma. Notice we got three of them in the charisma area. First of all, the attribute can be, bu uh, bumped up one. I lied. Nope. The attribute's normal. This, these three skills can be bumped up one. And we'll spend those in a moment. Lastly, our concept. Now, there are a ton of concepts. We didn't go over them. Was it 20 concepts, I think? Yeah, we didn't uh, really go over them. We didn't really go over them because they actually aren't in the main book. They're pretty much only here when talking about character creation. So we've got the adventure, the creator, the mentor, the martyr. But let's just look at one. Let's, so uh, I actually made an apocalyptic. I have those notes upstairs, though. And I want to say, uh, so charisma is her thing, right? Seduction? There it is right there. The visionary. The visionary is the one that I looked at and said, now, if I'm going to min-max, the visionary is the way to go. Why? Look at that attribute bonus. And look at those two skills that get bumped up. So we get a double bump. Yes. And yes, a double bump is just another free box. Well, so, potential box. Yeah. Well, yeah, potential box. Yeah. So if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, they're in catharsis, right? Yeah. Uh, right. You so, so we're going for the lover, not a fighter type thing, huh? I figure, hey, if you're going to be an apocalyptic, hey, baby. All right. <laughs> Remember, cunning is cunning is a way of getting what you want too. So seduction might be like you know making money on the side, but cunning helps you get what you want. Fair. All right, continue. So we're African, an apocalyptic visionary. So how does that uh, fall into place for us? So no fives. I was able to get a five from my battalion. Um, I didn't actually do that, but but here we go. We've got uh, body. Jilly Charisma, all ones, right? Well, now we need to figure out how we want to place these. How many points so, do we have? We have 10 points. Okay. And each one starts with one. My suggestion, based on forums that I've read, is mm -hmm. uh, you start with one in everything. You're Apparently, you're going to need it. Okay. So we still have six points left. I mean, her whole shtick is Charisma and Seduction, right? Right. At least to start. Sure. She's going to want to be able to fight, so we are going to put some stuff over here, but I think we kind of, I think, for me, I think we bump up the charisma at least one, and we'll, we'll get to skills later. We'll do skills after attributes. 
So we still have three points left. What do you think about the idea of at least being somewhat of a good fighter? Eh. At least, well, able, no. able to hit stuff. No, no. Uh, no not even uh, shoot? That's, that's fair. I just, uh, the concepts uh, should be smart. Oh, yes. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I believe she should be yeah, smart. I'm, yes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the, the, the mental stats are going to be more important. Well, so for what she would do, psyche is more important than intellect. Intellect okay. is almost like education, if you want to think of it that way. It's, it's probably a bad way to say it, but it's more like education where psyche is more like wisdom or natural instinct learning. It's, there's a way. Oh, well, here it says psyche is the fire that keeps our inner engine hot and burning. But this is like, this is where cunning is, as you can see. Yeah. It's where deception is. So. Yeah, I, I would put a point in the psyche. I agree with that. I also think we should put one into instinct. Which because is? If you, if, uh, instinct well, includes your perception, orienteering, taming. It's, it's, uh, into, uh, instinct has helped us to survive. And when I hear an apocalyptic, I think of a survival. You think survival, right. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, we it's only have fair. one point left, and I'm thinking intellect. I don't know. I want to max out charisma. I really do. Okay. I feel it. Okay, we, I feel it can, in my bones. Okay, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. There we go. So those are our 10 of 10 attribute points. Now we have 28 points for skills. Remember, okay. also remember, there's something to consider. It's at step uh, three or four or whatever. But they have promotions. When you start putting your, your uh, skills and attributes together, if you care about your character being promoted down the clan ranks... You might want to look at those first. And it's one of the complaints I have about the book. I think it should put some of your background stuff for your, or sorry, I guess you'd call it foreground stuff, but some of your uh, clan promotions, I think that should be identified even before you do the attributes. I mean, I get See, why I, they did I, it. I think they did that on purpose. They, they wanted you to have a clear concept of your character. Sure. And then with that concept, you fit into this slot inside your clan. You know, and you, what, well, I can agree with that. The promotions come with absolute benefits that yeah. you're going to be like, well, why didn't you do that? Like, how, how did you make this character and not get this promotion that you need? Right. This, right. this battalion is a perfect example of that one. If you make your battalion and don't start as a formulancer, famulancer, whatever it's called, rank three, there's something wrong with you. On the other hand, a Helvetic really only needs to be a corporal. Yeah, those are characters I made. <laughs> so, what are we looking at? Apocalyptics? Okay, that's Helvetics. So, Apocalyptics, oh, they got a crazy, crazy, crazy uh, promotion chart. Nubians, Medians, Apocalyptics. Well, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, if, if we have time for two, we'll, we'll do it both ways. We'll, we'll, for, first, uh, first, we'll, we'll do it like we want to envision our character and mm -hmm. see where we land. And then we'll okay. do it again and it's just shoot modify for where we want to land. Well, or we could just modify the stats so you know yeah. we're one point away. Yeah, there that's you go. Fair enough. Okay, we can yeah. do that. We can do that. Okay, so still in step, well, it's really this is step two, assigning the points. Right. We have, uh, so now we want to we want to place the points. And we already talked about we want seduction. Now, I don't right, want to go to four to start. I think, I think first we should hit our safety skills. Which are? Skills that, that everyone living in a post-apocalyptic wasteland is probably going to so want survival? at least one point in, you know? survival <laughs> yeah there you go and uh being able to fight at least well, one one point in okay now there are three of them okay there's brawl there's melee and there's uh, uh projectiles okay i'm thinking either melee or projectiles or both the reason i'm thinking that is that's because, weird because i was uh, thinking brawl <laughs> no see uh, the, the 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 reason i'm not thinking brawl is because we are going to be good looking whether male or female we are going to be good looking we're, we're, we're going to be slick we're going to be silver tongue we're going to be the fork tongue devil all right okay so uh when when I, when I think that i don't think just plain out fist you know bash someone in the face i think something skilled like knives daggers stuff like that you know so, something with flash oh so you're actually okay i, I see the direction you're going in <laughs> i was going excuse me I was going a little more uh, gritty than the Flash, but I, I get what you're saying now. 
Yeah, because you know, uh, if, if we're, if I we're was thinking more of abused character. Because yeah, if, if you if remember, we're come off as sophisticated. I want a sophisticated fighting style. You, you not can't. Um, you can't come off as sophisticated as apocalyptic. <laughs> okay, their well, first rank, right. their first rank literally has them being abused. <laughs> all right. Well, we don't want to be rank one then. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So, so okay, like, well, let's see can... skill, like one melee and one projectile. I think having both of those close and far range covered. I think that's good. Do you think three now, dice is going to be enough? Well, uh, the, like I said, this is safety shit. If we have stuff left okay. over, then we'll 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 put more into here. But this is just so we don't get completely pwned right out of the gate from from like anything. Apocalyptics have daddy issues, so they have daddy and mommy and uncle <laughs> issues. Yeah, we already scared Aaron. He he he's avoiding us. Yeah, now. he's already he's already gone. <laughs> uh, so what 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 other what other safety skill do you uh, do you really recommend? all of them? To be honest with you, I mean there isn't one that isn't a safety skill. I think medicine is important, but with two dice, I don't think it's going to be all that relevant. Um, reaction. Uh, that's for taking initiative. Uh, no, that's actually good. That's actually good because if you can't fight, if you can't fight well, you might as well cut someone first. Yeah. So yeah, put two put two into that. Two? Yeah. We're definitely gonna want the cunning. Okay. Yep. Because that's who she is. We'll do we'll do two for kind of these uh ones that are more uh, uh symbolic of hers. Right. <clears throat> Which would also mean that where is it? I think we should just put two right away in seduction. Yep. And uh what's the other one? Uh conniving, I think it's what well, you it was it? it was it was cunning. Oh cunning, okay, we, yeah, okay. We just did that. Oh, we just did that. Okay. So right now she's got six dice to seduce, five dice for cunning. And okay, you keep saying her. Could, could be a dude, too. We haven't decided that, have we? Uh, fair That's enough. That's at the end. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I envisioned the apocalyptic, when I made the one uh, earlier, I, I envisioned the apocalyptic as being a female. Plus, the picture was a female, so I just went with it. Probably Sexist. Athletic. Well, you know what? Athletic in one box. That's, you're, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, so what is that? Because you, you, you want to be, you wanna be uh, uh, built properly. Right, especially as an apocalyptic, you want to look young and and vigorous. Right, yeah, because they they get rid of <laughs> they, they, they have a they way get of rid injecting of you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you want you want to look the part. A domination uh, and stamina. stamina is going to be. Is there like a stamina type skill here? Uh, he said stamina and domination. You see where he's going with that, right? Uh, so yes, there's stamina here, and that's uh, yeah, marching. That that's you know. If you're going yeah. that route with it, that he that he's thinking, no, no, I can see. see it. I, I understand, <laughs> but uh, but if if it if it if it's stuff like overland marching and you know, well, it's anything to do with in, in, yes, yeah. See, we're we're we we're going the other way. You know, we're we're making other people do that shit for us. You but remember his first. Uh, he said domination first, and yeah. then he said stamina. You see where he's going with that. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Now. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how many points do we have left? We've only spent 10 points. So I can say some other things that are generic. Well, yeah. I don't want to use safety anymore. I mean, you're going to want to survive. Toughness is kind of an important thing for apocalyptics. Well, why is that? Cause they get beat up. They get hazed. Not, not if we're not, if we can talk our way out of it well enough. Uh, well, there are different. There are three different professions, but you know, maybe the other two don't. The one I read pretty much said, uh, "Finch, Finch, Finch." Is that the one? Uh, How's Finch? It's turn. I just want rank one, Finch. Oh, it's here we go. Finch is tortured by his flock, all for his own good, of course, because he expects the worst at all times. He gets plus one die to initiative when surrounded by his flock. Bonus is lost when he leaves this rank behind. Okay, well, let's let's try not to land there. Well, that's rank one, but there yeah. there are two others. There are two others. Um, let's see, another one is turn, which is it says prerequisite likes water or not. Like the finch, he gets plus one d initiative as long as he's amongst his own kind. The bonus is lost when he leaves this rank. And the last one is the hummingbird, which is like the finch in the turn. The hummingbird gets one d initiative when fighting with this apocalyptics of his flock this bonus is lost so i guess the first one only overtly states that you get, <laughs> you get beat on you get hazed in yeah so let's let, <laughs> let's try not to land there but hey you know what them's the breaks if we do okay well you like, again, like literally again. them's the breaks yep. <laughs> yes the pdfs are free 
Um, you can get it from dgenesis.com. The, P- uh, the PDFs are free. The hardcover books like I have are uh, not free. <laughs> expensive. Definitely not free. Opposite of free. The opposite of free, yes. All right, Aaron, what, 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 do, you, what do you think so far? Oh, man. Very, a lot to it. A lot to it. Yeah, he said he tried to read, uh, read is, into there's, it. There's a lot to the process. To, to be, I made, uh, after not, I made the first character. It's not an inherently bad thing. Sorry. Uh, this this is a great world of darkness. It's bad thing. Right uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> I haven't tried World of Darkness, but um, it, I mean, obviously it's it's incredibly in-depth and that is the kind of thing that a lot of players like. Now, I'm a guy who, well, it's the thing that a lot of players who are interested in the game like. Uh, I think that there, are, I've encountered a lot of people that are like, I just don't want to learn a system. So typically, you know, the more streamlined it is, a little bit easier to sell. But at the same time, if they're sold on the concept, then they can, you know, really go deep into it. And I feel like the, the, those are the kinds of people that this will uh, really attract or, or the people that are sold on the concept and they really want to, um, you know, go deep on it, on a character. And uh, yeah, if you've got them in that far, then they'll probably be willing to put the time. Oh in, yeah. I would think. Yeah. Uh, the, all the, the story and the background and everything really does a good job of pulling you into the world. So once they hook you with that, the then you know get, getting you to learn this is not so much of a chore. You know mm. the comparisons to World of Darkness are are accurate. The one difference that I would say is I think that World of Darkness is more of a, uh, for lack of a better term, a crunchy system to this one. This one is more of a rules light ish, not rules light, rules light ish. Character creation in this game, uh, like I was going to say a moment ago, my first character took me about an hour to make and then about three hours to understand how i made it (laughs) like because i was also trying to prepare for this segment when i was going to do it differently than how we're doing it now i made four other characters and they all took essentially five minutes Uh, now i didn't min max and i didn't go through and find exactly which which skill perfectly meshes in by reading, you know, hovering over it reading it so on and so forth i just kind of said okay i got 28 points i want this character to be able to shoot I want this character to do this. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm I'm a Helvetic rifleman, so I better have some good, you know, projectiles and agility, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I kind of went through it. So once you know the process, it actually is fairly quick. And if you're just the ultimate min maxer, I think Aaron hit the nail on the head. That's there for some people. You can do that, but ultimately you can't make the perfect character. I don't want to say I tried and failed because I'm sure somebody will prove me wrong somewhere. But it's very similar to Earth Dawn in a way, where it's like the more you try to make the the perfect character, the more you're gonna be mad. Because like it was really difficult for me to make that Helvetica character, Helvetic character. There we go. It's not a font. Uh, the Helvetic character and uh, and give it like you know five agility and five projectiles. Like it just wasn't lining up because of the way the concepts work and so forth. And I think the the game designers did that intentionally to make you. To force you into a somewhat rounded character. All right. So we we've we've done essentially some some safety skills and 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 skills that are going to be uh, minorly important just to to have some in. So now let let's go with what we specialize in and whatever whatever we have left over we'll we'll throw in depending on how we feel. So, I, um, one more I kind of want to say if for uh, I think she should have mobility. Why is that? Uh, because it's getting out of fights. You know, as uh, as somebody tries to grab her, or somebody tries to shoot her, it's kind of like your your dodge. It's your I'm being grappled and Invasion she can slip. Type thing. Yeah, she can slip away. Okay, that's yeah. fine. That's a good. That's a that's a that's a good safety skill to have. All right. So how many got left? Uh, we still have a ton of points left. Nine. All right. Uh, I can't then math. Seventeen. Let's, let's 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 do a little bit of min maxing, but just under under charisma and psyche, and okay. let's let's see what we got. All right. Um, I think that uh, let's add one more to cunning then. Yep. And I would suggest deception. Deception sounds it's good. Pretending to be someone else, disguising one's voice and appearance, forging documents and objects. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and put two into that. that oh, two? Okay. Very useful. Very useful. Um, what's that last one? Which one? Under Reaction? Psyche? 
Oh, reaction. the one that's okay. Well, and will oh, power, yeah, that, that's that's the one. Go go go. Going first is better than than going harder. For reaction, yes. Yeah. Uh, reaction. Let's... Reaction. This is your initiative dice. Right. Let's let's put a pin in that and let's look at charisma. Okay. Because this is where I think we we can we can possibly shine, especially in seduction. I, I like conduct. Why is that? I just I like the idea of the skill. Choosing the appropriate words, knowing traditions, rituals. Basically, she can go anywhere and hopefully not say the wrong thing. It turns okay. her into part in infiltrator, part seductress, part hey, let's let's tone this down a little bit. Hey, let's you know stop with the hubba bubba here. So. Actually, and uh, if uh, if if you want to watch our our, our uh, some of our last uh, uh, videos on this, uh, where we look at complex skills, where you use one skill and if that's successful, you get a bonus, or now you're able to use a second skill and conduct and seduction to someone who you're cold approaching would be an excellent use of a complex skill. Okay. Um, I also... You don't, you don't agree? No, no I, I do agree. I just had nothing more to say on top of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not so worried about art uh, for her, but I like the idea of either negotiation or expression. Expression fits the vision I had for her more. I'm not sure if it does uh, for yours. It's, it's uh, reading people. Yep, that that's good. Yeah, you you need that as a as a con man. So yeah, put at so, least two in that. Okay. Um, seduction. I want to go to three. You know why? Just because we got a max of four. If I can get a four in there later, I'd love to do it. Okay. Um, so right but, now, she is still gonna be, or he is going to be beholden to other people. Theoretically, simply because she's not a great, she's not a good fighter at all. So by herself, she's going to have to use her wits completely. And if you fail yes. any of that, you're done. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, is there a leadership scale somewhere in here? Yes. Right here. Oh, yeah. Max that out. Oh, okay. Yep. We uh, see the, the uh, si since we can't handle ourselves in a fight, we want to be able to, uh, to have a, uh, uh, a posse and le leadership will, I think, help us. Uh, keep that posse in line. Bolstering morale, quelling mutinies. There you go. See that? There it is. Encouragement, you know, propaganda, have, have leading other people groups. people do the fighting for us. Okay. So, hey, let, let's, let's uh, you know, we're ignoring Aaron. He's like actually our guest on this one. We got we to stop doing that. Aaron, do you have any suggestions? We got eight points left. Uh, I don't know if you can read the little tiny font on the screen. I can't blow it up. Won't let me. Hmm. Intellect looks pretty bare. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What, it does, uh, yeah. What what do you think's important in there? What what do we got for the for the skills underneath intellect? Ooh, um, I like three of them, but I think only one is really necessary. I like focus, legends, and medicine. Why is that? I, I like focus because you know if, if somebody's messing, basically if somebody's trying to brain cloud you, this is how you fight the brain cloud. If uh, think of it as like the Jedi. You know, going into meditative, uh, you know, just I, I'm going to I'm going to meditate my way through this. I'm going to clear my brain. Now, the opposite of focus is uh, is it willpower? Hold on. No, nope, it's not willpower. It's the other one. It's. Um, it's a primal. That's it. Yep. Yep. It's primal. That means she thinks or he thinks with the heart raging. This is this is your berserker uh, or barbarian. Yeah, so, you're right. You're right. That 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 does not sound like a, a, a pack leader type thing for for a uh, well, it for for a warrior pack yeah that would be great but we're not going that way we're, we're going the, the manipulation pack so i think i think uh if if aaron agrees i think focus would be more appropriate for this character you good with that aaron yeah uh it it, okay. it works uh i would also say um uh oh we finally let him talk, and he gets kicked out. He gets hit again. Go ahead, go ahead and put two points in it, and we'll 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 take okay. one away if we have to. Okay. Uh, what else? What else you said? Is, is, uh, he, is he still frozen? Um, now, no. now remember there are two others that have opposites. It's uh, faith and willpower. Uh, I would think that with her, it would be willpower or him. I I, I think I said I just keep envisioning the character as a female. Okay, what what are the differences? Um, willpower is just. 
faith is like, I believe that, uh, that I'm going to get through this because God tells me to. Okay. And willpower that. is like no, my own. No. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Nope. Uh, sure. I, if, 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 if you are in envisioning, you know, this, uh, this, this, this character, uh, the way I am, then no, uh, there, there is no God. Uh, there, there is not, no not, higher not for power. An apoc- not for it, an apocalyptic. Not no. for an apocalyptic. Yeah, I mean, you if if you want something, you have to you have to take it, and if you can't take it by force, you 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 take it by wits. Nothing's going to be given to you. You don't deserve anything. There is no providence. There is just what you have and what you want and what. I you mean, need. I could I could see it, but it certainly yeah. wouldn't be the norm. <laughs> right. Right. Now okay, you said two more intellect things. Like uh, Aaron said, intellect is still kind of hmm. bare. You said there was two more that were important. I, I, I like legends because uh, what you could do with like an apocalyptic is you could say like it's an oral history, but you can know about. Uh, well, here let's just see a knowledge about the history of cultures and cults. Basically, it's a general knowledge skill, for lack of a better term. So I would like her if she's trying to be an information broker of some sort. Or trying to utilize her charisma to garner information, you think she would retain some of that, and she would have learned it in her upbringing and so forth. I'm, I'm not saying it has to be like eight dots, but I think that uh, having a little bit of knowledge of uh, uh, what was say here also, what's the reaction, engaging chance, evaluating uh, valuing historical developments, and the reaction of the cults. I mean, we want her to be able to talk to understand uh, what, what's this skill. Well, that, that, con- that's covered by culture. I mean, conduct, right? I mean, that's well, it depends on there's different uses for both. Okay. All right. Well, then, yeah. Okay. Safety dot in that would probably be good. And then, like I said, I like medicine just because I want, <laughs> I, I like to stay alive. And medicine is diagnosing, curing illnesses, brewing medicines, collecting healing herbs, treating. Oh, you, we have flunkies for that. Screw that. You hope you do. Yeah. You're we're we're going to have flunkies for that. You, when you when you're diving into the uh, we'll call it the care and the paler next to you acting all weird, are you sure? <laughs> are you gonna go trust? The, are you gonna trust the paler to heal you? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that uh, that that uh, he he's gonna want to know me tomorrow. So yeah, fair enough. There you go. Okay, we have four points left. Four points left. Okay, uh, let's let, let's look at those charisma ones again. I I, I want to make sure that that uh, my flunkies won't uh, lead me to die. Well, you already have four dice and pretty much two dice and anything important. They're not going to leave you to die unless you're trying to tell them to jump oh, off a we bridge. Have one more in seduction. Uh, actually, someone said something. Uh, G Rock Pro said, is there like a negotiation skill of some yes. kind? Yes. I Where think it that? actually just says negotiation. Yeah. Let's let's put one in that at least. Okay. That's a good idea. Oh, did, I, did I see Aaron move? Aaron, okay. Yeah, I saw. Sorry, you, you, you cut out for a while and you were frozen in the same position for like a couple of minutes there. I'm practicing my statue abilities. Yeah. See, he's got his, he's already doing the arts. Yep. There you go. <laughs> okay. Three more points. Hmm. If you want to survive, you're going to want, uh, <laughs> let's put it this way. This character is not long for any sort of combat in a, in an RPG. Not, a, not oh, everyone, how about this? not everyone's a fighter. Some people got to be oh, the lover in this world. You are. Okay, well then, how, well, well then how, what, how, about, how about stealth then? If you're stealth. not gonna fight. If you're not gonna fight, at least hide. Okay. And we have one point left. Uh, let's let's dodge some more. Uh, dodge that. Uh, oh, um, mobility. Yep. Okay. There you go. It's not not bad. That, uh, four four dice is considered like an average combatant. Okay. So that seemed to scratch. Ha! Streamlabs spot. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> okay, so we are now done. That took a little longer than than I had planned, but hey, you know what? That's what you have to think about when you're making these characters. Uh, apocalyptic. So all of these are things that we chose, right? Well, they're figured in to your ego, your spore infestation. Well, that that's your maximum. Flesh wounds and trauma. She cannot take a lot of damage. At all. <laughs> That's what the flunkies are for, man. Fair enough. All right. So, Heathen Dogs already said we're going with flunkies. So, let's let's get some flunkies. Uh, let's put a point in allies. These are your backgrounds. Now, the backgrounds give you... 
They, they give you the resources is the easiest one gives you more money and you actually can get free stuff because of it uh if it's uh if the item is uh, rated one level lower than your resources value you can get it for free without asking as long as you don't abuse it each one of these these are not raised by points so when you get experience points backgrounds are not raised by points they're raised by essentially role decent role playing right if you role play your cults attitude mentality and so forth within this construct then it's it's under the gain loss if you can see it on the screen there i know it's really tiny then you the, you, the game master might say yeah you've done that enough and uh we'll we'll raise it up a level or you might lose a level because you abused it just because you have you know three dots and allies doesn't mean they stick around for you to tell them to jump into a pool of lava that's you know so but i do think that just based on what we're doing here and so that we can kind of move on a little bit i think that two and allies sounds good what do you yep. think I'm, now we I'm only okay have four po four points total yep um i think that she should have a point of renown also with that high charisma oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah everyone everyone knows her or at least heard heard about her yeah now there's a difference here between network network and renown they're the same thing but different renown is within your clan network is outside of your clan hmm so that's the debate for me. Should we put a point into resources to get more money and more starting stuff? Or should we just go and put it in network so that uh, we can we have a little better understanding of uh, of the other clans or what might be happening with the clan? You know what? I think we can save that to gain during role play. Okay. I, 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 I think renown inside our own clan, we should probably start small mm -hmm. to to be to, to get the uh, to get the clout in our own clan first. I mean, the and one other thing, because because you said you wanted lackeys, uh, we could go authority also. Bruce what, what, Lombardo, what thank you very do? much for the super chat. Uh, the nemesis lady doesn't have mail-in hit points. She is a hard pass. Also have, uh, what? <laughs> also have Capcom make cinematic trailers of her plan. I don't know. Then you, is he drunk? <laughs> can you read the, <laughs> when that pops up, can you put that on the screen? He gave us a super chat and we have to read I don't, it. I don't see it. Uh, it it'll, it'll be over here in a moment. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. There All it right. is. <laughs> Here. Okay. Uh, I'll let you. I'll let you guys decipher that while I'm talking about the game. But thank you very much. Sincerely, thank you very much, uh, Bruce. Absolutely appreciate that. Um, but we could. So you, you were talking about authority while you're reading that. So uh, it's used to bring other cult members into line in social conflict. So you can calm down the situation within your own clan because you would have a rank of authority. Right now, you literally have zero authority. You're a nobody. If you have rank one authority, you can't do a lot with it, but at least you could keep some minor scuffles or, you know, some, some low level, you know, actuaries, whatever from going crazy. Okay. All right. Um, what do you think, Aaron? You think, uh, authority or, uh, pop another, uh, point into allies or renown to get a mm. whole, I mean, Three you know allies, what? It, wow. I guess the three allies is a lot, but if, if, if you have enough people on your side already, you don't need authority. You just have it. I mean, that's, that's how we survive our dungeons. Just get hirelings. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, th uh, slow, th think about it. Yep. Uh, if, if, if there are 20 people in a conflict and 15 of them are on your side, you win. Well, fair enough. I'm, I'm not, I'm not debating that. Although I will say that's the one thing about old school games that I don't do. I don't allow hirelings. <laughs> I hate him. Ooh, okay. I hate him. I, I hate him. So what? What? What do you think, Bruce? I'm sorry, Bruce. I called you Bruce. I'm, what, do, what do you think, Aaron? Hey, Bruce gave uh, us money. You can say he that. Did. <laughs> that. That's why I said Bruce. Uh, what do you think, Aaron? Should we get more allies, or or should we get uh, should we get some authority with the allies that we have? Eh, authority. I like it. Authority. There you go. Authority. You respect my authority. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna carbonize okay. this shit. Car now we're skipping legacies simply because, like I said, that came from an expansion book. Okay. Lastly, now we're going we're gonna to try to look at the ranks. Okay. Uh, uh, I have not done it on the... Nope, it doesn't say here. Uh, does it say what the pre... Oh, it does say what the prerequisites are. Okay. So, we can start as a finch, a tern, or a hummingbird. Um, uh, big bad guys at the end of the campaign now have melee hit points capability for the characters to be forced never to retire. It's especially necessary. I don't know what that means. I feel like I should know, but I don't know what he's trying to say. Uh, 
Okay. Um, yeah, Bruce, I, I don't know if what you're talking about is what we're talking about. I don't think it is. I think he's talking about whenever, uh, you know, they, they uh, kill them too fast, you can mail in hit points so that they don't die. <laughs> oh, is he I, about, I, like, on, on a stream? What, what, is that, what is that even about? I don't even. I don't oh, know. You, you don't want your good guys to ride off in the sunset, do you? I want the good guys to do whatever the good guys do. If they happen to die, they die. Yeah, <laughs> and then then you get a new good guy. <laughs> you, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Or maybe somebody not so good who knows how to survive a little better. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, so we definitely we've already established we don't want to be a finch because well, remember they, the they get finch. Beat on. The finch can go to a whole bunch of these other ones. The turn can only go to seagull and pelican. So let's look at what seagull and pelican are. Why do they have bird names for the apocalyptic? I don't uh, know. Seagull um, is, oh, seagulls like naval battles. That's not us. Okay. And <laughs> what was the other one? Pelican is also, uh, after that one, likes to pilot. Okay, so that's why it says they like water or not. So the tern is a water bird. Apparently. Okay, now what about the hummingbird? Hummingbird. Oh, little hummingbird. Uh, like the, so, so that can change to god dang it on this Aru, isis or ibis sorry or toko so i don't want to be a friggin dock worker fuck that so whenever neo libyan needs okay so these are the oh the hummingbirds are like the african ones whenever a neo libyan needs a dirty deed done he hires a, a marabou okay well, so we're, the, we're talking uh, apocalyptic though so i i know that is why i was reading the apocalypse oh really Oh, yeah, but we're we're, we're not we're, we're not from Africa. Oh, well, we are from Africa. Yes, we are from Africa. That's we are. Why okay, that right yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So the ibis is uh, the the ibis is revered for his wisdom and feared for his knowledge. He acts as a middleman between the African flocks and the Bank of Commerce. Uh oh, um, sounds good for a con oh, man. There is no way you will meet any of the requirements for rank two. That's for damn sure. Oh really? Holy crap! Yeah, I don't even think it's possible to meet one of these to start as a starting character. And then oh, okay. lastly, the toko was uh, the toko is the Ac African equivalent of the woodpecker. He has at least one nest, but home isn't enough for him. His nightclub. Okay, toko seems to make more sense. Talks about the nightclub, uh, his palace garden. Okay, blah blah blah. And you can invest points into the nest and get one renowned point for monthly income. Well, that's neat. What are the prerequisites? Conduct of eight. Well, you don't even have the ability to get a conduct no. of eight. How do you get an eight? You have to have it a four just, and four. No, no. It just means that you can't be promoted as a starting character, okay. which, some, okay. which some of these are. The Spitalians, it's pretty easy to get promoted. Okay. These guys, it's not. So, but we did figure out that we want to start as a hummingbird. Oh, there we go. Hummingbird. So what do we get? We get, uh, for doing this, no prerequisites, obviously, because it's rank one. The results... Uh, you get 1D to an initiative roll when fighting with Apocalyptics of his flock, which, as adventure characters, unless you're all Apocalyptics, that's not going to happen. Well, we got um, allies, though, right? They're, 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 well, they're probably going to be Apocalyptic allies. Yeah, but I, they don't just go adventuring with you. Why not? Because that's not how the allies works. Oh. Well, that's not how I would let it work, anyway. Uh, if character meets members of his cult, he might be able to re recruit their help. The ally score determines the number of allies, so I guess you could. Well, then I wouldn't yep. let you have it. I wouldn't let you have it. But I'm saying, <laughs> buy the book. You can. Right, yeah. Yep, so, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Here, here's the reason: people abuse their NPCs like they're just numbers. That's my yeah, problem well then, with it. Well and then, I but, don't. But, and I don't want to take I the time it. to say. <laughs> I get it, but during role play, if if you if you think fair. the person does it too much, they lose a rank, right? True. Yes, that, that's up. absolutely true. There's your punishment. So uh, you know what? I, you know, I I can backtrack on that one. Max hit it right. I didn't sleep well last night. I just jumped in the stream. Thought you were rolling up bad guys for the campaign. <laughs> Not your actual. No, no, it's all it's all good, man. No, we're actually going through character creation process to show you how it's done. Um, once you get used to it, it's uh, it's actually pretty quickly. We're doing it a little bit slower now because, well, neither Aaron nor Heathen Dog have done this before. Nope. And uh, you know, I've got the book in front of me instead of showing it on the screen, and that's kind of intentional. Uh, I could have done it through the uh, PDFs, but I'm not. So. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to figure out money, right? Yep. Since we know we're not... Oh, let's finish Hummingbird. I'm sorry. Oh, hummingbird. Um, you get the plus one, and you get that dagger. So that equipment, that uh, that Komaya dagger, you get that for free. So it's automatically right. going to be added in to, uh, to your equipment. So let's, uh, let's add weapons. And we already know we're going to add in... Come on, there we go. Uh, that dagger, right? You know, it'd help if this stuff was in alphabetical order. That would there be, that'd be ideal. So, boom, we have a dagger. Great. I will tell you that there's one drawback to this uh, character creator. What's that? So, when I created that Spitalion, as a rank 3 Spitalion, I have the, uh, the Splayer, 
mm -hmm. with the mollusk and one other attachment. Yep. You can't you can't add the attachments here. Wh so where can you add it? Yeah, uh, you just write it down, I guess. Oh, okay. So, uh, if like if I show you if I were to show you where splayer, uh, can't find it because I'm trying to read too quickly. This is a melee weapon, right? Yeah. Uh, arm melee. Uh, is it under a different category, or am I just? Well, maybe missing? because we're we're not a battalion, it's just not showing it to us. Ah, uh, you know what? That might be true. Uh, yeah. you you're, you're probably right. Yeah. Let us let's, let's mm -hmm. go down to projectile because we also need a projectile weapon. We have a skill yeah. in it. Oh, you know, you're right, because the fungicide, oh, uh, let's see, is the fungi rifle here? Uh, there is no fungi, so you're right. Yep. So they could code that in, but not the attachments. Go figure. Funny. All right, so what do, what do we got for projectiles? I want, I want gun. something fast, some, something, uh, so, something concealable. Well, I would go with a, a handgun then. Yeah. So, but we're going to have to pay for this now. I understand. So uh, let's figure out how much money she has. Isn't there a thing? Like I thought, I thought I saw yeah. money that was a little higher. Uh, it actually well, said it. He, yeah, but it, uh, it doesn't do the configuration for you. I have to actually look in the book. Oh. And I oh. think uh, I think their apocalyptics are one hundred. Nope, they're two hundred. So we gave her no resources, and she's rank one. So she two hundred. Two hundred. That's it. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. So how much does this? Uh, Let's Hang just on. start with a little cheap little Derringer cost. Does it say the money here? Resources none. Value eight hundred. Can't even get a gun? Nope. Can't even get a gun. 800 hey, bucks for the cheapest gun? Come on, man. That's lame. <laughs> hey, guns are rare in this world. Uh, fair enough. Fine. It's a blowgun. Look at that. Blowgun's only 30. Only 30 for the blowgun. <laughs> All right. We need some kind of projectile that that is that is not stupid and not and and is concealable. So a, a blowgun would be concealable, but in my opinion, super dumb. So we're not going to take that. <laughs> well, until you start adding poison and so forth. Still. I hate you. <coughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What or, else you got? Or, you know, here's what we could do. Well, she could use throwing weapons. And we level. don't have any points in throwing weapons. Uh, yeah, you do. We have points in projectiles. Does, does that count? It does? There's no, there's, oh, okay. no th there's no throwing weapon. Oh, okay. Stand. Okay. So it just counts as a projectile. We could do a Great. sling. That's cheap. Nope. Also dumb. We would not be we would not be caught dead using using a uh, a in a uh, post apocalyptic world. Toy. You will use whatever. You'll have a handful of just dust. Hey hey <laughs> hey! We are higher class than those. Punks, no, you're okay? not. You're an apocalyptic. <laughs> you're an end of the world. You're not a neo Libyan. <laughs> no, that's fine. As long as it costs two hundred or less. Twenty right. thirty. Throwing knife. Throwing knives. That's kind of stylistic. That I love it. I love okay. it. Okay, let's add it on there. All right. Well, we're gonna want to save some money for armor too, right? Okay. Or at least heavy clothes. That's fine. So That's let's fine. just do we, this. We have a distance weapon. We have an up close weapon. That's all I was really looking for to to make sure we okay. have out of the gate. All right. Let's go to armor. Uh, salted clothing, because you know why not salt your clothes? Yeah. What? Why would you do that? I'm sure there's a reason for it. Un unless you're fighting witches, I don't understand why you do that. But okay. <laughs> uh, the heaviest we could get a leather coat and still afford it. Love it. I Love think it. She, it, it, it. It's also good. stylish. There you go. Okay, that's it. I, I, if, equipment is stuff you can worry about depending on how much money you have and so forth. I just want to show it here on, uh, um, on the character. So let's quickly go. So that's one twenty. What was the weapon? Uh, forty. This one's free. So forty and one twenty. So one eight. So we have twenty. Twenty. Twenty left. dinars left. So twenty. Uh, how tall do we want her? I don't care. Uh, no, no, no. We still don't know if it's a guy or not. I, right, I don't care. We're, we're, we're finishing this. Does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Or, or you want to do chat? Anything. You're right. You're right. So it doesn't change anything. Let's see. We'll call We'll call the person Pat. Age <laughs> <laughs> 20. Weight 120. It could be kilograms or pounds. I don't care. Sex. Yep, there you go. Yes, yes. please. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes, please. There you go. And uh, height, we'll do. Uh, you know, it's Africa. Five foot five. That could cover all the bases. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is in the range of both sexes. So there we go. That is uh, that is Storm, our character. Storm Alert asked us, did we miss the potential? But what is the potential? Oh, crap. 
You are correct. Give a point. Yes. Yes, we did miss the potential. Thank you very much. Uh, where is that on here? Uh, potentials right there. There it is. Now, what, what are potential? Okay. Thank you. Oh, who said this? Uh, Stromlord. Stromlord. Well, it says Stromlord. Stromlord. There. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, my, my eyes Thank adjusted. Thank you for the catching that. Yes. Um, so potentials are perfect because I'm in the apocalyptics. Potentials are, think of them as like feats or talents. Uh, oh, great. From, from, from other games that you're used to. Okay. Yep. That's the best way to do it. Now, let me read off the six oh. that come with the apocalyptics. Because, A lot of them like, are grayed out. Well, yeah, because they, they're other. They're, she either doesn't qualify for them or they're from other um, okay. uh, clans. So okay. the sixth. Now, there are general potentials, which anybody can take. Sure. And then there are clan specific. Okay. So the clan specific, but we can't have that one because that one requires faith. Yep. Oh, screw that. Uh, so all in. Uh, can I read this quickly without reading every word? Well, so it says, make your bets. In combat, you let blood and bones. Only an apocalyptic would dare to go all in and risk his life. Nope. He looks forward Pass. to his winnings. Okay. Pass. Uh, hold on, hold on. Apocalypse sets aside a number of dice up to a potential level for an active defense roll. If he succeeds in the defense, his next attack roll gains triggers equal to the number of unused dice. I mean, I could see it, but yeah. But yeah, it's, it's not it's kind of It's kind of like a backstab, I guess. It's yeah. a neat way of doing a backstab. Okay, uh, do we have primal? We don't have primal. No, no, we don't. Oh. We, have, uh, we have the other one. Yep, so that means we can't have that one. Remember, these are supposed to be emotional people. That's why they do that. But here's force. Here's one for force. So okay. the apocalyptic's heart and his enemy's heart beat as one. He watches, reacts, repeats his enemies' attack patterns as if they had trained together. An apocalyptic with mere potential imitates his opponent's way of fighting. He activates a potential with an active defense, succeeding with at least one trigger. As long as he fights the enemy, his passive defense is raised by one per potential. It's not a lot, but I mean, at least it'll save you from some damage. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's let's put a pin in that again. We're we're not we're not a fighter. I'm 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 looking for everybody like everybody in this world's a fighter. You know what I mean. Yeah, I, I got it. Um, Black Omen, the flock's fortune tellers can now gaze beyond the mirror of the present into potential futures, but they do not prepare the way for it. It's really not uh, what. It's really not that hard at all. A bound up dead crow calls disaster from the dark as well. Okay, what the, that's great for the narrative. What is the, the Black actual Omen? Mechanic? Yeah, Black Omen is a mental attack. The apocalyptic rolls psi plus domination, which I don't think. Nope, we didn't take. It's right there on the screen. We didn't take any points in domination. Uh, and gets one D per potential level. His opponent counters with psi plus faith. If he has chosen willpower, he's immune to the attack. Oh, uh. oh, well, I, the, yeah. Okay, so I don't like these potentials. No, no. Keep going. Okay, well that's it. Okay, well so, then what so about the general I'm, ones? Let's 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 check out the general ones. That's where we're going. Well, you you can just hover over them now, right? Yeah, probably. Ascet uh, asceticism can survive a long time without food and water. Ether yeah. call uh, potential uh, da, 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 brings advantage to combats on uh, instinct plus perception rolls. Gets uh... oh, that's for spore infestation. You gross. Uh, moving mountains in desperate situation, the character can add one success per potential to a single action roll. Any action roll? Desperate. Looks like it. Yeah. That that sounds. It good. just says to a single action roll. Yeah. That sounds uh, great. Well, let's see. Let's see if there's anything that looks more like what we made her. Danger sense might be brainwave. What the f is that? I didn't read that one before. Uh, brainwave potential character always has a chance. Once per day, you may add one D per potential level to any int roll. Well, we didn't do a lot with int, so it's probably not going to be. Uh, oh, sleek. If an opponent locks the character in a grapple, or he is stuck, bound, or chained, he can twist his body in an almost unnatural fashion to escape. It's like double jointed, escape artist kind of thing. Add plus one D per potential. I could see uh, see her needing that, but I mean it has a limited use though. Mm. Okay, though that's that's nothing. Else. So well, and go go ahead and and scroll down the page and 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 highlight the the ones that aren't grayed out. Yeah, some of these are from the expansion book though. Oops, how they go? Oh, down, lower. Uh, down lower, yeah, down lower, down lower. There we go. There you go. Some of these are from the expansion book. Um, elephant skin is not. That one's from the main book. Uh, when Beastmaster, no. Let's see. Pariah, Herald, Rebel, Adaptability. What's that? Uh, I don't know. That sounds good. Uh, 
potential level one uh, non-skilled player by one. What? Isn't know what's happening to me. When buying non-preferred attributes or skills, the experience cost multiplier is lowered. Oh. I don't know what that means. I uh, like I said, some of these come from the expansion book, and I haven't read up on them at all. Well, if you don't seek shelter, you die. Okay, that makes sense. For each full combat round spent undercover from his enemies, he may add one to his passive defense. Okay. Oh, man. Black Omen Ether Call. I'd rather just pick one and go on since we already know how to make a character. Uh, do we Do we just get one? Yes, to start. And they're expensive as hell to, to raise. I want to pick the right one. You know what? I, I don't... Uh, none, none, none of these are actually calling to me. None of like, them are game breaking. If you think that you just gave yourself like a fireball or something you can use no, all the no, time, no, none no, of them no. are I mean, like that. Like, just to, to the concept. None of them are calling to me. Like there, there's no like siren song. There's no like a nope. silver tongue. There's no, no, nothing like that to go with the concept that I'm going for. It's all about survival. The closest or, uh, one rally, I think is you know, like like you know, it's, rally it's your all, troops type thing. You know, it's all type. about survival when it, when it comes to this. I, I think moving mountains is probably the best one because yeah, that adds I, a die. So so far, moving mountains, adding adding one to any action, to any action die roll. I I think that that is uh, it's very general, okay. but it can be used specifically. So yeah, okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna be upfront with you. I kind of want to end it here because uh, I don't like the fact that we're ignoring Aaron. So <laughs> I appreciate his patience on this. Uh, every time okay, we try Aaron, to talk can to you, look at the end result. Yep. Every time we try to talk to him, he freezes up on us. So I think there's like something working against us here. So. Uh, we did equipment. We don't. Uh, we don't need artifacts. We don't need vehicles. We couldn't afford them anyway. Uh, so moving mountains potential modifiers says it right there. We'll save it to my profile with no picture. Your character was saved. Yay! And now we should see two. Hey, look at that. So we have right, Pat. Let's, let's look at the oh, character crap. sheet. I was yeah. I clicked the wrong thing. God damn it, you! I know. And, then, and, and now we got to wait for your insane loading. There, there we go. go. All right, let's. Uh, I found it's quicker if I just save it again. Wow. Hey, this website's probably in Germany. I'm in Germany. All, All right. right. Now, character so, sheet. Character sheet. You can download it as PDF right here. Okay. And you'd be able to zoom in on this one, so that's good. Yes. Oh, why can't you see it? Oh, because it actually opened up a whole new page. There we go. And this is how it turned out. We have Pat the Hummingbird. The reason there's no legacy there is that's one of the things we skip because that's in the expansion book. And here are our attributes. Yeah, this is very old world of darkness looking. I mean, I mean, it, it's it's almost like they they copied the the uh, character sheet format. Or it's I mean, I, I don't disagree with that. Or you could just say it's pretty much the best format to use for this. Um, yeah, there are leather coats, so... Oh, the dagger gets one die of handling. Handling is what? Uh, it gives you an extra die to roll when you attack. Nice! Oh. And we bought throwing knives, which have a distance of three and ten. Now, mind you, everything's in meters. So three yeah. meters is close range, ten meters is yeah. long yep. range? Yeah, uh, okay. whatever they call it, extended range or whatever. Yeah, okay. so up to three meters. So basically up to 10 feet is a uh, normal die roll, minus four dice up to about 30 feet. Got it. And how many dice do we have for that? Four? <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> so we can't. Okay. 10 well, feet. You, Got it. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if anybody has any questions about that, I, I was hoping that it'd be a little bit more, you know, systematic, but uh, this is what happens when you have three people plus chat trying to chime in, uh, you know, to, to get it done. But, you know, that's also we talk through the character. Uh, we have no experience. Yeah, we have 20 dinars. I'm trying to think. Of the, I just want to see if there's anything I missed. Uh, of course, if you do it off the, uh, the site, you get the nice little graphics and so forth. By the way, you can download all these graphics, too, from the site. Like mm. everything available to this game, the books, the dice, the, well, maybe not the dice, the, the books, the information, character sheets, the art, everything you can download off the website. So, all right, that's our apocalyptic. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here. I, I'm going to show real quickly. Oh, I can't because, you know, reasons. I have this. Come on. 
You can do it. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing again. Nope, oh, never mind. I'm not going to do it. See, that's what I get. I'm punishing myself. All right. So does anybody have any questions regarding character creation in D Genesis? Uh, and that includes Aaron and Heathen Dog. Any, any final questions? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. You, you said that, uh, that normal attribute is two, normal skill is two for, for someone who's trained up. A average, average combatant from reading the forums and so forth, they're pretty yeah. much, you want a two and a two in order to just kind of be, I'm not going to die. Okay, so what we don't have two and a two in is combat. Uh, is combat? No, no, but but the whole e evading damage we do have that. Well, it's not evading. We have, damage. we have mobility of two and uh, and agility of two. That now remember that only works if you're using active defense. Oh, that's true. Yeah, our pass our passive defense is the one. That's just everyone well, gets and it, th right? There are other things that will figure into that, and I don't have it memorized off the top of my head, and I don't want to give bad information, but you move more than two meters, that's another one. Mm -hmm. You know, the other person's moving. You know, so there are things that uh, play in there. So uh, oh, How hard is it to make a, a ca character that Max will absolutely despise? I think we just made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least now, you're not lurking today. Thanks, Spectral Fire. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. But, uh, the, yeah, I wanted to make, if, if we're going to be an apocalyptic, and they, they're all about the now, and... Uh, you you can either be the uh, the the brute force, you know, you know, get what you want by taking it, or you can every day wake up and said, "What can I, what what can I finagle from someone today?" I think what my I only want? problem with this character How do I get is I couldn't see it as an adventurer. I could see it absolutely as an apocalyptic within the clan mm -hmm. or the cult. I couldn't see it as an adventure like, hey, we need you to join this battalion, this Helvetic and uh, that paler over there to go dungeon diving. <laughs> oh, great. You know, you, you know what you just said? What? In Aaron's head, you just said we made a bard. 